Hey guys, welcome back to Transformation Tuesdays. Lady and I are back with the beautiful Iffy and we're giving her a really beautiful girly look. So if you want to see, stay tuned. First I'm going to start by sectioning her leave out and starting the braiding process. I used the Curry Care Glossifier to grease her scalp. Once I finished the braids, I then sewed on a weaving net. I then started to sew on the weave, keeping it as close together as possible. Once the weave was complete, I then went on to cut and shape it. I then went on to curl it using a medium sized tongue and a curling wand. Curling the hair in alternated directions gives the hair more bounce and more body. For the leave out I used a mini straightener and some hand curling action to make it blend. I left the hair to cool and set so that it could be styled later. So first I started off by filling out Ify's eyebrows. I just used a random uh, pencil from just a hair shop. <laughs> In my next usual step, I added an eyeshadow base and I started to put um, Then to add a bit more definition, I just went in the crease with an Embark from MAC. So like I mentioned before, today we're going for a really sparkly glowy look. So in order to do that, I first put on the eyelash glue and then I put the glitter on top. This will help prevent any fallout and will help the glitter stay on all day long. Literally, it will not move. Now when that was done I went back in the crease with a pencil brush and I used Embark and I just blended that out with just a blending brush. Then to highlight underneath her brows I just went on with like a flat brush, a flat square brush and a bit of concealer and then after that I just blended it out with a blending brush I didn't want it to look too harsh or to have like really harsh lines. I then went on with a liner. I'm using the Maybelline Gel Liner and an angled brush from MAC. I wanted to add a little bit more depth to the look, so I used a bit of the gel liner and I put that just on her waterline. Then after that I went with the bridge colour, which is that pink that you can see in the crease, and I blended the bottom all out. I wanted to give it like a really sultry, sexy kind of look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I then went on with mascara and then I added those lashes. A night out is not complete without those lashes. <laughs> To prime her face, I'm going on with a smoothing primer, and this one's from Sephora. Now I'm just going on her face with a black opal cream stick foundation. I'm using rich caramel hands in that mix because she didn't have her exact shade. Her skin is literally perfect already, but I just wanted to add just a little bit more coverage. highlight I also used a black opal um, foundation stick this is in slightly lighter shade and I'll list it down below so I'm highlighting the areas of her forehead bridge of her nose underneath her eyes and her cheekbones just to add a little bit more dimension to that face mm -hmm. so I'm just blending it out a little bit with my real technique sponge to set the under eye I'm using banana powder from Ben Nye and on the rest of her face um, I used camel which is also um, a loose powder from Bed Nye, just to set everything. I then went in with the sleek highlighting and contouring kit just to add a little bit more dimension to her face. 
I first started off by adding the lip liner which is from NYX which is called Hot Cocoa and I love this shade, it's just like my favourite. Then I went over it with a lip liner from MAC. Then in the centre I just added cream cup lipstick and then I just blended it out all over her lips. You can either leave it like this or you can add a gloss. I'm addicted to gloss and so I, I put lip gloss on the top. Yeah. And that is the finished makeup look. To finish off the look I used my hands and the end of my tail comb just to dress out the hair and give the curls more of a bounce. And that's the finished look. Oh wow! Talk about Alicia in a <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh, wow. Hello, lady. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs>